Now, some of you Negroes, y'all sent me a meme, a little video of a Palestinian, and he wasn't disrespectful, for, so I'm not going to disrespect him. But he had a little video where he showed three murals that were painted by some Palestinians during the Black Lives Matter era. Is when you start paying attention to other people's struggle, you give the whole world permission to ignore your problems. I don't see Arabs taking attention off their problems for black people. I'm going to show you a lot of few images and can you lot guess where they are from? Can anyone guess where this painting is here? This is a painting from Gaza. Can anyone guess where this painting is? This painting is in the West Bank in Palestine. And during the BLM protest, can anyone guess where this video is from? And in that video, you see an occupied people, which the whole world had forgot about, outside on the streets protesting for BLM. By the way, Dr. Umar is not wrong. There are atrocities being committed to the black community every single day all around the world, and it's not spoken about. He's not wrong. I'm only starting to educate myself about what's been happening in Congo and Sudan, and the first thing I think about is, wait, why is the world not talking about this? And indeed, there is still racism in many of our communities, including Arab communities. That is not deniable. But the ignorant, outdated ideologies of ignorant and arrogant people does not speak for us and a true muslim and a true arab those who follow the teachings of the prophet muhammad sallallahu condemn that disgusting behavior it's up to our generations and our people to come together and eradicate that just wanted to share how beautiful it was that the palestinians were struggling and were forgotten about but still came out to the streets to protest for blm but this isn't a chance for us to be divided united we are strong divided we are weak i leave you lot with two quotes from nelson mandela and malcolm x zionist argument to justify israel's occupation of arab palestine has no intelligent or legal basis in history we know too well that our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of the Palestinians. Huh? Can you point to something political? Don't show me no damn artwork. Don't show me no damn artwork. And because you got three old murals that was painted by a handful of Palestinians, that means the Palestinian people stand with black America. That's a damn lie. Don't be hypocritical. I'm Mark Lamont Hill. And this is a word about why black Americans should support Palestinian liberation. There's a long tradition of black folk who have stood up and spoken out against the occupation of Palestine and spoken for the liberation and self-determination of the Palestinian people. Huey P. Newton and the Black Panthers believed in the struggle of the Palestinian people and showed solidarity. There are people in the United States who say, look, black folk are catching enough hell here. We should put our 100% attention on that. And I ain't mad at people that say that. I don't agree, but I understand the impulse to say, look, cops are shooting us, the economy is collapsing, schools are broken. How can I think about someone in Palestine? We should care about the Palestinian freedom struggle first because they're human beings. And as African people, we don't have the luxury of choosing who we're gonna be allied with. We have to side with all principled, humanistic freedom struggles. I don't care where they are. We can't get free unless everybody's free. That's not just some lefty cliche, that's a fact. But I wanna say this, right? I've been getting harassed by Palestinians. I've been getting harassed by Palestinians all over my posts, all in my inbox. I wanna say this to the Palestinians. I have no gripe with you. I have no issue with you. But it is very arrogant for you. I did not disrespect you or your people. I wished y'all well in your struggle against white supremacy. I wish the Palestinians well in their struggle against white supremacy, but I'm not taking attention off of the African struggle to pay attention to your struggle. Now, some of you Negroes, y'all sent me a meme, a little video of a Palestinian and he wasn't disrespectful, for, so I'm not going to disrespect him. But he had a little video where he showed three murals that were painted by some Palestinians during the Black Lives Matter era. He showed the picture of three paintings that was created by a few Palestinians during the Black Lives Matter era. And to those Palestinian young men and women who painted those murals on behalf of African people, if you were sincere in what you did, I thank you. But I need you to be very clear about something. You understand? You're not dealing with a fool. You're dealing with a very deep, critical thinker. Just because you painted a mural doesn't mean you give a damn about black people. I can show you murals painted by white people. I can show you statues painted, built by white people. I can show you buildings erected by white people. I can show you institutions created by white people who didn't give a damn about black people. So I wanna make sure we understand this, my Palestinian family. 
just because a couple of Palestinians painted a couple of murals does not mean the Palestinian people stands with black people. Just because a few Palestinians painted a couple murals does not mean that the Palestinian state stands with black people. Let me ask you a question. Palestine, Palestine is a nation state. Palestine is a nation state. Palestine is a nation state with a government. Has the Palestinian government ever entered any argument on behalf of African people at the United Nations? I'm going to ask the question again. Because you showing me murals that was painted by the Palestinians five, ten years ago. That does not mean you stand with us. Did the Palestinian government enter any formal argument on the floor of the United Nations on behalf of American Africans? That's the question I'm asking. Did the Palestinian state put forth a resolution that the Arab states who participated in the enslavement of African people need to pay restitution and reparations? Did the Palestinian government put forth a resolution to stop the trafficking of Africans right now into slavery in East Africa? Don't show me no damn paintings. Don't show me no damn paintings. Don't show me no damn paintings. Show me some paintings. I could go paint right now a mural for Palestine. Does that mean I care about Palestine because I threw up a mural? That's not no true liberation solidarity. What are you doing politically for us? What has the government of Palestine ever done politically to benefit American Africans or politically to benefit continental Africans? Huh? Can you point to something political? Don't show me no damn artwork. Don't show me no damn artwork. And because you got three old murals that was painted by a handful of Palestinians, that means the Palestinian people stand with black America. That's a damn lie. Don't be hypocritical. Don't be hypocritical. You have Palestinian Africans catching hell in your country. You have Palestinian Africans catching hell in your country. You got Palestinian Africans catching hell in your country. Let me ask you a question. And this is no disrespect. I want a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip. I want a ceasefire in the West Bank. I don't want to see no children hurt. I don't want to see no women killed. I don't want to see no elders lose their life or get injured. Understand me. I'm for peace in these streets. But my focus is 100% on African freedom and liberation. Who fighting for my brothers and sisters in Haiti? Who fighting for my brothers and sisters in Haiti? Are the Palestinians standing for the Haitian Africans? Are the Palestinians standing for the Haitian Africans? Are the Palestinians standing for the Haitian Africans? What are you doing for the Congolese Africans? What are you doing or saying for the Ethiopian Africans? And you want to flood my inbox because you mad because you think the black man is still the Arab's slave. You want to flood my inbox because you think the black man is still the Arab's slave. You want to flood my inbox because you think the black man is still the Arab's slave. We are not your slave. We are not your slave. Let me ask you a question. Did you have this much smoke smoke for DJ Khaled? Did you have this much smoke? For DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled is a Palestinian. He is obligated to speak for you. DJ Khaled is a Palestinian. He is obligated to speak for you. Have you flooded DJ Khaled's inbox? Have you protested or challenged DJ Khaled in his lack of support for his native country? I got a funny feeling y'all flood my inbox more than DJ Khaled. Why are you flooding my inbox? Peace, brother. But you're not. Everything all right? Yes, sir. No, sir. Everything fine, brother. I just came from the Black Farmers Conference. Waiting for somebody. All right. So did you flood DJ Collins' inbox the way you flooded my inbox? That's the question we're asking. Huh? Did you flood DJ Khaled's inbox the way you flooded my inbox? Because I don't see DJ Khaled is a Palestinian. DJ Khaled is a Palestinian. DJ Khaled is a Palestinian. Are you, where the smoke at for DJ Khaled? Why are you coming to a black man instead of a Palestinian man? 
Why are you coming to a black man instead of a Palestinian man? Where is the smoke for DJ Khaled? Why you got smoke for Dr. Umar? I'm not Palestinian. DJ Khaled is Palestinian, but I don't see y'all blowing him up so I can only draw one conclusion. DJ Khaled is a Palestinian, but I don't see y'all blowing him up for selling y'all out. So I can only come to one conclusion. You know what the conclusion is? You think you got a right to tell black people who they going to fight for and what they going to fight for. You think you have a right to tell black people who they going to fight for and what they going to fight for. You think you have a right to tell black people who they going to fight for or what they going to fight for. That's what you think. You think you own us just like white folks. You think once a slave, always a slave. It ain't going down like that. It ain't going down like that. It ain't going down like that. In fact, I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to go a step further. Tamika Mallory and the good brother Mark Lamont Hill and Dr. Mark Lamont Hill, fellow Philadelphia scholar, he did send me the video. I didn't have a chance to watch it yet, but I'm going to watch it. He did send me it. But Tamika Mallory and Mark Lamont Hill put up this video by the Palestinian and shout out to the Palestinian. He wasn't disrespectful. He disagreed with me, but he wasn't disrespectful. He disagreed with me on some points, agreed with me on some other points, but he wasn't disrespectful. So no issue there. But Tamika Mallory and Dr. Mark Lamont Hill, especially Tamika Mallory, did you take sides with a Palestinian against a black man? Tamika Mallory, did you take sides with a Palestinian against a black man? Tamika Mallory, did you take sides with a Palestinian against a black man? Because you posted that video on your page, which clearly means you support what the Palestinian had to say about me in his disagreement. So it sounds like you got a problem with the fact that I'm unapologetically committed to the best interests of African people, that I'm not taking time off of the black struggle to fight for nobody. Brown, yellow, red, white, I don't give a damn what color they are. I'm not taking time off of my people's struggle to go focus on someone else. So Tamika Mallory, you posted that. No disrespect to my sister. No disrespect to my sister. I love my sister. No disrespect to sister Tamika Mallory, but you got to be careful when you post stuff like that because it looked like dry hate. You got to be careful when you post stuff like that, Tamika Mallory, because it looked like dry hating. You got to be careful when you post stuff like that, Tamika Mallory, because it looks like you dry hating on your brother. Don't do that because you don't want me to do a seminar on your government sponsored black activism. I don't want to go there, sister. I know you don't want me to do a seminar on your government sponsored black activism. I know you don't want that. You understand? So I still got love for you, queen. But. Be careful about posting videos of non-African people who go against Dr. Umar. Because I put way more work in these streets than you do. Believe me, sister. Way more. You can't even compare the two of us. You understand? No disrespect. Okay? But I want these black activists to stop feeling like you got to chase behind every other racist problem. Tamika Mallory, what you doing for Haiti since you weren't about Palestine? Tamika Mallory, what you doing for Ethiopia since you weren't about Palestine? Tamika Mallory, what you doing for the Congo since you worried about Palestine? Tamika Mallory, what you doing for Sudan since you worried about Palestine? See, how do y'all got time to take attention away from the black struggle and put it on other people's struggle when we got black people's issues that ain't even been dealt with yet? That's your big brother King Kong consciousness. No disrespect to Tamika Mallory, but whoever went to smoke, I'm here for it. I'm in the building. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. It's smelling and drip. Dover, Delaware, HBCU, Delaware State, Baltimore, Maryland. I'll see you tomorrow. Baltimore, Maryland, I'll see you tomorrow. Baltimore, Maryland, I'll see you tomorrow. Nat Turner Land, I'll see you Saturday. Virginia, Nat Turner Land, I'll see you Saturday. Virginia, Nat Turner Land, I'll see you Saturday. Memphis, Tennessee, Saturday, November 25th, Black Parent Boot Camp. Memphis, Tennessee, Saturday, November 25th, Black Parent Boot Camp. Memphis, Tennessee, Saturday, November the 25th, Black Parent Boot Camp. Omaha, Nebraska, December 2nd. Omaha, Nebraska, December 2nd. Omaha, Nebraska, December 2nd. Dollar sign FDMG school. Dollar sign FDMG school. Go to DrUmarJohnson.com and get the right PayPal cash app link. Kansas City, Kansas. We got a new building by popular demand. The response from Kansas City was so strong that we moved the location for Kansas City. 
So for Kansas City, we have a new location, and that's going to be Sunday, December 3rd. I'll be in Chicago Tuesday. I'm trying to see if we're going to put a meeting together in Chicago so y'all can tell me what's happening with the migrants. Where my Chi-Town Africans at? Chicago, is there any meeting going on on Tuesday? I need y'all to tell me what's going on with the migrants so I can report it to the world. Chicago Africans, is there any meeting going on in Chicago Tuesday? Because I want to report to the Africans of the world, the ethnic cleansing of Africans with the brown people south of the border, Chicago, where y'all at? We need a meeting in Chicago Tuesday night. If you need to reach me, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858, Black Queens forever, snow bunnies never. Black Queens forever, snow bunnies never. Black queens are forever, snow bunnies never. I would marry the most unattractive African woman before I would marry the most attractive snow bunny. You out of your mind. If you with a bunny, you a traitor. You a Negro pen. You a house slave. Ain't no such thing as being a proud black man married to your oppressor's daughter. This is King Kong. I live what I talk. I talk what I live. Peace and pan-Africanism.